Uh, this is going to be a long one because I want to show two different ways to find the area of this figure. The first way I'm going to show you is a decomposed strategy. There are several different ways you could think about it, but you could slice this puppy just like that. That gives you a triangle on top and a parallelogram in the middle. And then you got a trapezoid on the bottom, which you can further decompose into two triangles. And so now we have three triangles, one parallelogram, and we have the area formula for all of those figures. So for the triangle on top, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units by one, two units. Seven times two is 14, and half of 14 is seven. The area of that triangle is seven. For the parallelogram, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units by one, two units. Seven times two is 14. Right. For this bottom triangle on the right, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units by one, two units. Seven times two is 14. Divided by two is seven. And for this little triangle on the bottom, it is one, two, three units by one, two units, making that height straight down. You got to extend the base a little bit, but it is one, two units. So three times two is six, and half of six is three. So we have seven units plus seven units plus three units plus 14 units. I should be saying square unit. Uh, 14 and seven is 21. Seven plus three is 10. 21 plus 10 is 31. So there we go. Square or the area of 31 square units. All right. So now I want to show you how to define the area by enclosing the figure in a Rectangle. And I'll do. I'll do. Uh, what do you do for that? All right. So I can enclose the entire figure in a rectangle. And this is going to make a nine by six rectangle. Nine times six is fifty-four square units. Let's keep that in mind. That is the area of the entire rectangle. And now we need to find the area of these white triangles that I created and then subtract out the white triangles. And what's going to be left is the area of the shaded space. So uh, this top right triangle, I'm sorry, the top left triangle and the bottom right triangle, they're the exact same shape and size. They have the same dimension, so they have the same area. So that's going to make it a little easier on us. One, two, three, four units by one, two, three, four units. Four times four is 16, and half of 16 is eight. So each of those triangles is eight square units. One, two, three, four, five units by one, two units. Five times two is 10 and half of 10 is five. That triangle is five square units. And then one, two by one, two. Two by two is four and half of four is two. That triangle is two square units. So we've got, I'm gonna do this all over here. We've got eight square units plus two square units plus five square units plus eight square units. I'm going to add all of those up. Um, eight and two is 10. Five and eight. Eight and two is 10. Five plus eight is 13. 10 plus 13 is 23. So the area of all the white space is 23 square units. That's why I want out what I want to subtract from the rectangle, so that's going to leave the blue space left. 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 3 is 3. So you see, either way, we're going to get an area of 31 square units.